I'm interrupting the artist here uh, at Market of Choice, and her name is Anissa, and she's been working on this beautiful mural, as have other artists. Uh, I'll be interviewing Jordan as well. So being the nosy guy that I am, I had to ask them as Man on the Street segment today, what are you doing? Well, I'm here painting on a wall. Uh, this is part of a collaborative mural project with a nonprofit group called Color Outside the Lines. And yesterday we had a really awesome event with um, a bunch of teens through their, uh, their creative program. Um, these are at-risk youth and um, teens in the foster system who don't have a lot of access to creative projects um, or any creative activities really. And so um, as artists, we were brought in to um, create some murals and have an afternoon with the teens, kind of showing them what we do and they helped us out. And now we're here this week finishing up the murals before they get um, fully sealed for weather weatherproof before the fall. So these are permanent. They're here uh, for all eternity, or at least until uh, they wear out. Um, so yeah. you as an artist, a little about your background. This is a paid piece of art that you're being, you know, it's a general, you know, it's good for artists to get paid for their work. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I'm an, I'm a professional artist. I get paid for what I do. And this is like one of many projects that I'm a part of. Uh, how long have you been an artist? What's your background in Portland? Well, um, I went to art school um, as a college kid. And since then, I've worked a lot of different creative jobs. Um, I went out on my own as an independent artist in 2016. Um, and I'm really from all over. I grew up in Hawaii, was born there, oh. which is why I'm painting Patsy Takamoto Mink. But um, my connection to Portland is my husband grew up here and was born and raised here in Portland, and we moved back here to raise a family. Tell me a little bit more about that woman you just mentioned, yeah. and why did you choose her? I chose um, Patsy Takamoto Mink because she's really been a trailblazer um, for Asian American Pacific Islanders here in the U.S. and for women. Um, she was the first woman of color elected to the U.S. Congress. Um, and as a woman who faced many, many racial and sexist um, hurdles back in the 50s and 60s, she really um, took it upon her to become a lawyer and to challenge um, a lot of the laws at the time that were preventing women and girls from having equal opportunity. And uh, so she's She's quite fantastic. And that's the theme of uh, all the murals. Some influential person of color, so, so to speak? Um, an influential person from history that each artist really feels a connection to or um, really wants to honor. And uh, so each artist, yeah, has comes from a different ethnic and racial background. Um, I don't know how intentional that was, but maybe it was intentional. And um, what I appreciate is that we have Cesar Chavez, we have Patsy Tecamoto Mink, we have Ron Kovic, and we have Shirley Chisholm at the end here. And uh, so, you know, it really represents a wide range of um, social activists who have made a lot of change for society here in the U.S. All right, very good. Well, thank you for joining me. I'm going to briefly talk now with the artist next to you, hard yeah. at work, Jordan. Okay, thank you. Talking with Jordan now, uh, the artist of this piece, which you call? Uh, well, there's no real title for it. We're all just kind of honoring doing portraiture of, uh, you know, people of significance uh, historically. This is Ron Kovic, who's a Vietnam War veteran. He um, was wounded in Vietnam, paralyzed, and put in a wheelchair. Uh, he came back to advocate for veterans' rights in veteran hospitals and uh, became a very, very popular anti-war activist uh, in the 1970s and 80s. Uh, they made a movie about him called Born on the Fourth of July by Oliver Stone and uh, starring Tom Cruise. Uh, I chose him because I knew him when I was younger um, 
he was a family friend and my brothers and I used to kind of help him around the house and do his, you know, take his laundry out for him and bring in his groceries and clean his house. And Is he from Portland? Him out. No, I'm from Northern California, oh. so in a town called Marin County, just north of San Francisco. And um, yeah, so he's been sort of a, a family friend and an American uh, activist, icon, person of uh, relevance and significance. And so uh, this was a good opportunity for me to uh, do my best to do him some justice. What about the color scheme and the style? How did you choose this? Um, you know, uh, the colors are, are basically within the palette that I kind of work with in my own personal work. And I've just tried to keep it as flat and bright as humanly possible for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, to sort of exude the fact that we uh, have been working with kids um, to sort of help these murals come to fruition. And uh, that runs a very bright, happy sort of personality. So I kind of wanted to do something that, you know, showed a little bit of his light and joy. Hmm. So you got a lot of people you could have chose from. Did, it, yeah. did you have to deliberate on this for quite a while? or? Uh, actually, no. I think it was, it was pretty obvious to me that this might be a good opportunity to, you know, I've wanted to do a painting of him for a very long time, and uh, this seemed like a really good opportunity to do so. And it's going to be here for quite a long time. It must be a good feeling as an artist to know your piece is really going to be seen here in front of the market of choice in uh, southeast Belmont and central east side. A lot of traffic, even as we're doing this, people yeah. are walking by on, a, on the off time. Yeah. So it's going to be seen by a lot of people surrounded by apartment complexes. So as an artist, that's got to be rewarding. Yeah, also a lot of pressure. Um, <laughs> you know, we don't have a, a great deal of time to complete these. We only have a couple of days. So it's kind of up to uh, us to do the best we can with what we got and hope, you know, keep my fingers crossed that we uh, have a nice beautiful outcome that I'm not too embarrassed of. <laughs> no, it looks beautiful. It's a great Thanks. job. All the work here is good. So come on by uh, the market of choice and take a look at all those beautiful murals that are being done by these wonderful artists. Thank you. Thank you so much.